What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel again. I appreciate you checking in with me again today. Uh, so today, guys, we are headed out to uh, a local car meet called Cocktails and Cars. It's out in Com Tombaugh, Texas. Uh, it's at a place called Woodrow's, which is kind of like a bar, a bar, ice house, or what have you. But anyways, um, I'm taking the uh, 96 Impala, the Z01 Impala, um, and I'm meeting up with a couple guys from my Impala club, uh, INC, or Inc., Nation uh, in Houston. Shout out to the uh, Houston chapter of INC. Stands for Impalas and Caprices. So guys, the weather is gorgeous today. I mean, it is probably about 80 degrees. Uh, the humidity is almost close to nothing. It's a cool, crisp, light breeze. And um, you can definitely tell that fall is is, is here, right? It's, it definitely feels a lot uh, cooler and crisper than it normally does um, on uh, most mornings. But it's Sunday morning, beautiful day, sun is shining. Uh, so I'm going to get out and uh, bend some corners with the Impala. Uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to get some good footage. Uh, this is not on Tomball, which from what I recall, uh, that area has a lot of high-end, really nice, expensive, classic cars and also a lot of exotics. So you should see some pretty cool stuff. But guys, do me a favor really quick. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Please tap that notification bell if you do subscribe. Like this video, of course. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the content and share this video with a friend and also tell a friend about our channel. Well, hello there, beautiful. Man, look at that back wheel, man. I just, I love the stance on this car. That back wheel is just sitting perfect, man. Um, I'm a big stance guy. All right, uh, let's get our, our iPad loaded up here. Guys, this iPad cradle uh, mod that I did really, really turned out great. It's uh, it's kind of an old mod. I mean, you can see this is like probably like a first or second generation uh, iPad mini. Uh, so not not the latest and greatest, but um, nonetheless, I, I really enjoy this uh, this option, having this option in the vehicle. And um, it came out, in my opinion, came out really good. I did, I did all the work myself. Um, well, I ordered the the iPad cradle from a guy on uh, Instagram. Uh, I think his Instagram is noisy, noisy boy garage, uh, at noisy boy garage. And, um, but this thing is really cool, man. And, uh, I really enjoy, enjoyed putting it together and installing it. It's fairly easy. I would probably say on a scale of one to 10, it's probably a, um, uh, I don't know, probably, uh, maybe a six on the difficulty scale, on the, on the DIY difficulty so but definitely not something that is uh you know it's a must have as far as that you know having to go to a shop so but uh but yeah anyways so so yeah but it's like i said it's pretty cool you know i've i use it to play Pandora, uh, also uh, YouTube and stuff like that. I play videos and stuff like that. So, and this thing here, this radio, this is a, one of those half half radios. I forgot what they call it. There's a, a, a half in, I think is what it is. But uh, it's basically only about three to four inches deep. So it's not like the full, I think seven inches or six inches that a normal radio is. And it, it, it doesn't play CDs. The sole purpose of this is just to basically uh, be a sort of a receiver for uh, Bluetooth audio, Pandora, Spotify, you know, any of those streaming services. So I can use this to play the music with the speakers. And then of course I, I use it in conjunction with the uh, with the iPad. But anyways guys, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get this show on the road, head over to Woodrow's, check out this event and uh, uh, Hopefully get some some cool footage, guys. I think this is one of probably one of the one of the few times that I've been in this vehicle where the, the lighting was much better, so you can really see the vehicle on the, on the inside. But uh, here you can see the, the the sun visor for the sunroof. It's stitched in that diamond stitch pattern that's on the seats. There's my son's car seat, but you can see the stitching on the seats. It's the same same stitching that's on the sun visor. 
uh, which is also the same stitching on the dash. And that, that little piece there on the dash, that is the airbag uh, on this car. Uh, they mounted the airbags on the top of the dash. You know, it's a 96, so it's old school, you know what I mean? But I almost forgot, let me, let me turn on uh, my halos. Got this little remote here. Dirty man, I, w I didn't get a chance to wash it, so um, oh well, won't be the first time that I've showed up to an event to a car meet with a dirty car. I swear, sometimes it's just not enough time in the day to get all this stuff done, man. And uh, you know, but it is what it is. Like I said, won't be the first time that I've shown up to a event with my car dirty. Let's double check one more time, make sure those halos are on. The problem with that uh, remote is that a lot of times it uh, it, it you, you can accidentally press a button and you know inadvertently turn off the uh, halos, or you can uh, you can change the sequence of the halos because those halos they have those halos have a uh, they have a uh, a program button where you can change change the color the speed you can change uh, the sequence in which they change colors all that crap you know there's probably I don't know 10 different settings that you can uh, change and like I say uh, on that remote there's two buttons that are super important one is the uh, uh, on and off button which of course turns it on and off kind of soft touch it's easy to accidentally press one and uh, you know make a change that you didn't that you didn't uh, want to make so anyways making some pretty good time here uh, cars running really really good weather is beautiful um, it's, it's just a good good day to be alive man good day to be on earth um, I love I love taking these rides and see I'm, I'm, ta I'm taking kind of a scenic route I'm avoiding all highways so I'm taking nothing but like you know back streets and just regular regular roads uh, and, and uh, I love taking these, you know, you can get, get a chance to kind of see, you know, the pine trees and, uh, you know. Go past this light, then at the next one, turn left. Yeah, they pine trees and, of course, you get the chance to see, you know, all the... At the light, turn left onto Telga Road. All the nice homes and businesses and whatnot. So this is pretty cool. Doing well, yourself? Good. Any open spot over here that don't have a cone? Okay, thank you, sir. Doing well yourself? Good to see you, man. I like. I, I had a '96 Impala back in the day myself. Really? And I got in so much trouble with it. <laughs> I had to get rid of it. <laughs> so, um, so go. We see where the orange Lambo is. Yeah. There, go to the right, and there's some spots all and right where you're pointing. Okay. Anything that so, doesn't have a so cone. So pass the right. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, thank sir. you. You're welcome. Okay. Proceed to the route. Lambos, Ferraris, uh, 
What's up, white guy? I ain't still clean. Appreciate it, bro. I'm gonna get a spot down here. All right. I see you, man. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here at uh, Little Woodrow's at Cocktails and Cars. Man, this is a really cool event, man. Um, on the flyer, they said they had room for 300 cars. And I'm looking out here, man, and I think they've just about filled the entire parking lot. So 300, par 300 plus cars out here for every different variety, every different flavor you want to see from JDM to Muscle, Classic Muscle, New Muscle to Imports, American Domestic, you name it, it's out here. Lambos, Ferraris, Porsches, uh, like I said, muscle cars, it's all here. Uh, just saw a super cool Toyota Soar twin turbo from Japan, right hand driver. Um, something that you definitely don't see on the streets every day. Definitely a rare, a rare sighting. Um, but guys, a super cool event. I'm gonna walk around and get some video for you guys so you can see all the cool stuff here. Ghost, right? Yeah. Yeah. Machine, what year is this? 89. 89, okay. 89 Toyota Soar. Twin turbo. All the way from where in Japan? Japan, Japan. J Japan, Japan. <laughs> Oh man, this is cool, man. Right side driver. What's up, buddy? It's your dad's car? It's cool, huh? That is cool, man. 89. What do you know about it? It's got cloud seats. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's looking for Cheyenne, too. I thought you were going for that to a car show. Bring it. GT4. I think it's sweet. Hell <laughs> cat. I like that green. Seventy-three coda. Seventy-three coda. Okay guys, here's the creme de la creme, here's all the high-end stuff. VIP. C6. 
seven. Wait, I believe. Kind of has similar, similar body design of the uh, Z06, but definitely, definitely not a Z06, but still a sweet car. Nice. Wheelwood disc brakes, six pistons in the front. About a 68 or 69. Resto mod. Oh, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. He's got like a like a, like a matte aluminum black color. Check out this thing here, man. They got a water fountain made out of a Ford F100. Looks like or F maybe an F2. That's cool. Fish. I think I've been there for a while. I guess. Mustang. Got classic, classics here. What is this? Uh, Clement Sergeant? Never heard of that one. Super Sport, I guess that's a, uh, yeah, Impala. Nice, super clean C10, and I like the forged lines. LS swap. Super clean engine bay. I like the color too, like that gun metal gray. these muscle car action at the Fox bodies and the B bodies oh, sweet of course I'm impartial to the B bodies but still cool James car is really nice Ken's car is really nice too the silver it's a nice touch I like the silver Nice wing. Custom, custom tail lights. Those aren't factory. Those are custom. Fox bodies are cool too. You said 30, how many miles? Uh, 75. 75,000. 75,000. 90, 95. Yeah. 12, 8. What? Wow. 
Hell yeah! Twelve eight. <laughs> it's just and, and like there, I don't think there's a better better highway car that you can buy, man. And and these things, man, as big as they are, you would think that they would be like just horrible on gas. But you get this thing on the highway, turn the AC on, and just like get a nice cruise going. The twenties. So, fucking everything. Got the original license plate bracket. Wow, man. That came with. I have the original door handles too. I'm gonna put those back on. That's crazy. And then uh, it came with pretty fucking nuts. So I have all the original service manuals. What? I have the original license plate frame and all that stuff from the original dealership. That's I got crazy. window stickers. I got. I mean everything. Wow, for twelve eight. That's insane, bro. That's not 69, that's 68. Tone. This got to be one of the most popular color combinations on this truck. It's orange and white. You see it a lot. Hounds tooth interior. Super clean dash. Nice custom gauges. Clean, clean engine back. My 
nice truck. I think I've seen this car before. It's clean Chevelle SS 454. Yellow Camaro Target Top. Oh, you do? That's a sweet truck, man. I like that Nardo gray. And then he's got, man, this bed is nice too, man. That's some detail right there. That, it's nice, yeah. It's real nice. I like I liked it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got some pictures of that thing, man. That thing is nice. That's, that's the color, man, that... Uh, it looks good on a lot of cars, man. Yeah. It looks good on... If you flip it right, if you flip it right, yes. They do some cool colors. They really like push the envelope on their colors. They don't play it safe at all. Nice. It's on the construction. It's clean, man. It's like he's restoring it, or, or maybe not. It's clean just the way it is, though.
the last T06 today. So, yeah, I know what terrified means. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna scare you to death, but you're still in control. And look at this sweet 5.0 Fox body. That's sweet. Uh oh, look at that. Alright guys, it's been real, really enjoyed hanging out with you guys, had a great time at the meet, uh, saw lots of cool cars, um, man, and really enjoyed this, I would definitely be back to uh, see this, this meet again, Cocktails and Cars, Little Woodrow's, Tomball, Texas, uh, I think it's every last Sunday of each month, do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, like this video, comment below, let me know what you think about the content, and of course, tell a friend about the channel. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.